Hey guys, welcome to 21st lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe if you want, so that you don't miss out on any new presentation or certification training material that I constantly upload to the channel. And now, without further ado, let's begin with today's lesson which is to revise how we can animate content in PowerPoint. Okay, so today's objectives are animate text and graphic elements, animate 3D models, configure animation effects, configure animation paths and lastly reorder animations on a slide. So let's begin by animating text and graphic elements. Let's begin with this set of bullet points. So we select the text box and go to the Animations tab and under the Animations group click this arrow for more and in the exam setting you will be likely asked to apply specific either entrance or emphasis or exit animation. So be careful which animation you are required to add. So for example you can see that the this fade animation is available as an entrance but also as an exit so you can see entrance and exit like that and also when you have chosen your animation there are more effect options so for text we can choose to animate it either by paragraph or for example also as in one object like that okay we can also do a certain object that you want to animate you can add more animations so for example firstly you can begin by the entrance animation and then add specific emphasis animations the same applies for graphic elements so you can insert for example a circle like that and make sure to have it selected go to the animations pane or animations tab and choose the animation that is asked in the exam task so for example this wipe animation the next objective is to animate 3d models so basically let's insert one go to the insert illustrations 3d models from this device let's go with this hexagon and the thing with 3d models is that you have a few more animations available so you have this entrance arrive animation this emphasis turnable and swing animation for example or also the leaf animation like that so the same as with objects and text boxes just you have a few more options and also effect options so clockwise counterclockwise and so on next up configure animation effects that is what we have done by selecting specific effect options configure animations path that is another type of animation so for example let's insert this object and go to the animations tab and you can choose the specific motions paths so for example let's choose this turn turns path there is some default path and the way you edit it is you hold this preview of where your animation begin with this green arrow and this red arrow is where your animation ends okay so let's modify this green arrow this red arrow you have also more effect options and let's preview the animation perfect that is configuring animation paths and the next objective is to reorder animations on a slide so firstly it's handy to insert a few objects and animations so for example these three what is that okay perfect 
let's apply some animations so for example fade split and white and now they appear consecutively so the first the second and the third and in order to change the order in which they appear on the slide we have to select the animation pane and select the animation that you want to reorder so now I have selected this rectangle 12 and you can see that this animation is associated with this object and we can move it earlier okay or move it at the end you can also achieve that with th these options so yeah guys that is reordering animations on a slide and that's all for today's lesson, I hope you find it valuable, if so smash that like button, please subscribe for more certification content and I will see you guys in the next one, bye!